So now we got the last one. This is the big one right here. So that cart actually looks really nice. Um, damn, that looks a lot better than I thought it would. 91 truck. This is up to you guys. This is the big one here. This is obviously the best card that I get. I'm going and I'm taking a look at my phone here to see. Uh, somebody's saying don't get Marshawn. I'm getting a lot of people saying get Joe. Uh, why, why would you say don't get Marshawn? I don't know, man. Um, so yeah, the reason I'm making this video here, I finished all the, if you guys play Mutt, I don't know you guys joining in. Um, our Mutt players, are you guys just joining because you saw me pop up live. Uh, but I've been doing all these solos um, in this new Mutt. Um, like I said, if you guys don't play Mutt, you wouldn't know what I'm talking about. But I've been really grinding out these solos in this new chemistry set that they dropped. Um, it's a super easy chemistry set. It's like one of the easiest. Um, it's one of the easiest ones that they've put out in a while. Like it's just, I got them all done in a couple of days. So I wanted to pick the rewards. And I wanted to see if you guys, um, you know, if you, if you actually uh, play Mutt and you've already gotten some of these guys, you can give me some tips on uh, who to take. Um, but uh, let's go ahead and let's take a look at what they actually are. Yes, yeah, four total sets. Like I said, it only took a couple of days. So if you guys haven't done it yet, you really should. Um, Marshall Lynch's Beast. Yeah, I know. He's, really, he, he's somebody that I'm looking at. But I just got this Adrian Peterson who's also in that elite. Um, so I'll show you guys my team and you can kind of tell me who you think I should fill in from there. Um, I really don't have any good receivers yet. I'm kind of just like saving my coins. You can see I got about a half a million coins. Um, I just sold 100,000. I sell them on my uh, Patreon account. So I don't, um, you know, I, I, they're not all mine. Some of these are four people. But I got the Gauntlet Champion AP. Uh, he's an 87. Marshawn Lynch is an 88. So I don't know if I should go Marshawn Lynch because I can't sell either one of them unless I go with the one that's sellable, which I'm guessing is not as good. Um, but I like I like Agent Pearson. I mean, he's a good player, obviously. Uh, I could use an upgrade at corner, but I got a feeling that the Joe Hayden one's pretty slow. So this is my squad right here. If you guys want to take a look at my squad to tell me what you think I should should basically upgrade with the ones I'm about to pick. Um, yeah, my quarterbacks are pretty good. I really like Stephen Gilmore. Josh Norman, I'm not a huge fan of. I pulled him and added something. He's A7 overall, though. He's kind of slow. I like a little bit more speed. Uh, I wish I had more options at receiver, uh, but I'm probably just going to have to fit the bill and pay for somebody. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go to my upgrade sets. And like I said, if you guys have actually gotten any of these guys, let me know, um, you know, what's good, you know, who I should pick. Uh, if I should go for the Nat, if I should go for the seller one. Like this first one here, I can't say that I'm really excited about either one of these guys or do I really actually see um, any any value in either one of them. I mean, if I get the gold one that's sellable, the 78 overall, what's that really going to do for me? Um, let's get 89 Byron Maxwell. I hear a lot of people say they got the 89 Byron Maxwell. He must be on the cheaper side. Now, my corners aren't bad, but I just think that they're important to have good. <laughs> like, that's a really important position. So let's start off here real quick. Uh, add these to set. Let's take a look at who we want to take here. Uh, I'm just looking in the comments section if you guys want to tell me to either go auctionable or not, or if you guys want to tell me which position to go with. I'm really thinking neither one of these are really worthwhile, but the, if, but the Nat version, at least that's an elite, and I could always um, put that towards an elite badge, which is what I'm trying to do. I think I'm pretty much going to um, try to get some uh, some flashbacks. So if I, if I take the Nat on this position because this is both of these are pretty much garbage uh, I at least can take the Nat guy so not a lot of votes I'll get the Nat one guy said the Nat that's what I was thinking anyway so technically it's two votes and now let's pick the player I guess it really doesn't matter because you know why is there three options here I thought there was only two I'm seeing more more than oh, okay what's, what's this oh well, I get four guys oh I get a cam you get to pick the cam I get it well, that's pretty cool though. That helps a little bit. What's the best cam? I can't say you can really spend a lot of times in the cams. I do have, uh... yeah, Deion Buchanan. Yeah, I mean, I got pretty good middle linebackers to be honest. I feel you there though. Um, yeah, like I said, I don't really know what cam is the best cam. I haven't spent a whole lot of time in them. Um, the cam boost alone might be worth keeping them to be honest. If I, especially if I stick uh, with. Um, the same chem boost throughout every one of these picks that really would be helpful so somebody's telling me blanket coverage i'm pretty sure that that's the red one right you have to give me like a thumbs up or something i don't even remember uh we oh well, i didn't mean to do that let's compare real quick and i'll just look this way 
I mean, that's A3 speed is really nice. I have good middle linebackers. I got Deion Jones already. Although I think he's technically a little bit faster, which is cool. Um, but let's take a look. I think this is the blanket coverage guy. I think that's the symbol. I'm not even sure. Yeah, it's the red one. Okay, so I'm going to do that. Everybody seems to be going that direction. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to pick uh, Jared Davis. If I play salary, that's a pretty good salary card. So if I do do that in the future, that's pretty good. So let's go ahead. Let's go with him. Moving on. I say he's not an upgrade right now. I might end up just selling him, or not selling him, just putting him to a uh, an elite badge, uh, but not bad at all. So we'll take that. Like I said, these solos are really quick, and I'm gonna get some good players starting now. This next one here, um, I'm really thinking I could use a defensive tackle, uh, but like I said, I'm leaving it up to the vote for you guys anyway. In the comments section, let me know. Uh, we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna put all these to set. I mean, I'm thinking, I like Starla Tulele. Uh, but first off, like I said, you guys let me know. Should I auction somebody? I think a Starla Tulele might sell for like 8,000 coins, something like that. Um, so I'm just waiting for, I'll just take one vote. I really don't care. Although I'm kind of leaning towards Starla Tulele uh, if, if, I don't get, uh, if I don't get any votes. And I'm thinking the Nat, but I really don't think the 82. The 82, once again, I could probably use that for an elite badge. And there we go. We got Star at Nat. So not a lot of votes right now taking it. Um, so I'm going to go definitely start with two late, which is the one I wanted to go anyway. I could use a good uh, second defensive tackle, uh, but now I need to know what's the, what's the, the chemistry again. I guess I'm going to stick with the red so that if I use these guys, I've got a good chem boost. Um, so we'll go ahead and we'll go that route. I'm going to guess that's where people want to go. Um, so there we go. We're down two. And we're going to go ahead. We're going to get to this next one. Starting to get to the higher ones right now. I already got one vote for Torrey Smith, and I need receivers. So that's pretty, um, you know, it makes sense to me to go, um, you know, go with the natural uh, Torrey Smith because I really don't have the best receiving core right now. And I could I could always use him in the slot down the line anyway because he is a bit of a speedster, I would imagine. So let's go ahead and let's take a look. Um, like I said, I'm just looking for votes here. I don't think auctionable is really the route here. Uh, I'm definitely going to uh, go Nat. Like I said, I need a wide out. Uh, I'm just waiting for comments uh, for people to let me know which way they want me to go. Um, nobody's really saying anything yet, so I'm just going to go and do what I want to do. <laughs> so, <clears throat> all right, so here we go. So we're going to go Torrey Smith. I haven't gone offense yet, though. So I really don't know what's the good offensive chemistry. I probably would go vertical because I'm pretty sure vertical uh, vertical threat, it helps out with, that's nice speed, 88. I'm pretty sure vertical threat maxed out gives you speed boost uh, bonuses. So... I got, you know, one, one and one. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to go with the one that I want. I'll, I'll do be the tiebreaker here. And we'll go with that vertical chemistry. So there we go. Finally got a good uh, first receiver, really. I don't I don't think my receiving core is really up to snuff. Um, not, I mean, I'd make it work. But, um, you know, I definitely uh, could use an upgrade. So there we go. So now we got the last one. This is the big one right here. Uh, I'm definitely thinking I want to go, uh, since my team's only 82, I definitely want to go with an 88. Uh, natural here um, auctionable sounds good for down the line uh, what do you guys think this one here is kind of the big one I kind of need to know if I should go with the auctionable because an auctionable card in one of these uh, would probably be probably sell for a pretty good amount I would imagine um, but I'm you know Nat right now would definitely upgrade my team for the moment uh, everybody seems to be saying Nat so I'm definitely gonna rock that um, I got one vote for Hayden already, and that's kind of the route that I'm going. My quarterbacks are good, but like I said, I feel like AP and Marshawn Lynch, which I already have AP, and they're both not sellable. So I already feel like uh, they're both kind of in the same vein of like really good power backs, and I don't really want to have two guys like that on the roster that I can't sell. So he's actually faster. That's 87 speed compared to AP, AP's 85. So that card actually looks really nice. Um, damn, that looks a lot better than I thought it would. 91 truck. Um, so let's go ahead and let's take a look at Hayden. I mean, I'm definitely getting a, a nice solid upgrade here either way. Hayden speeds at 87. So that kind of makes me want to go Hayden's route because I'm going to probably have him and uh, Stephen Gilmore starting at one point. So I got two corners at 87 speed. But this is up to you guys. This is the big one here. This is obviously the best card that I get. I'm going ahead and I'm taking a look at my phone here to see. Uh, somebody's saying don't get Marshawn. I'm getting a lot of people saying get Joe. Uh, why, why would you say don't get Marshawn? Just curious. I'm, 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 not, I'm leaning towards Hayden for sure. But I'm just wondering what the uh, what the reason is for that, um, you know, because he looks like a pretty good player for sure. But either way, so that, I, I guess that'll take it. We'll keep going with the with this uh, red chem since we did that the whole time, 
and I'll go ahead and I'll pick that and that's it that's all she wrote got all of them let's see if this upgrades my team a point let's see if I get up to that, that coveted 83 we'll just go over and we'll do um, best uh, best team available see what we got you see, I got about 450,000 coins, although I think I got to give away 100,000 more on my Patreon account. Um, but uh, other than that, um, I, got, I think I got to switch type entirely here real quick. Other than that, I mean, I definitely uh, got some coins to spend. Give me some ideas in the comments. Uh, you know, what receivers I should go out and get? What are, what are some good budget beast receivers out there? Uh, that I can pick up here in a minute. So I did get up to 83, uh, which is cool. Like I said, now I'll probably go out and buy... A receiver or two um, and, and get that up I'm trying to get I want to get I actually really want to get um, some flashback badges or some elite badges and get some flashbacks that's probably the way that I'm gonna go next uh, off camera so I appreciate all the people that joined uh, for this I know this was kind of short um, this video will actually be on YouTube after I edit it uh, but I just you know I want I, I thought that was a cool idea to make a video about this if you guys want to see um, what these guys look like in a game uh, just hit the like button or let me know uh, in the comment section and I'll put out a gameplay of them because I haven't played too many regular mutt games I typically play the ranked draft but like I said I'm trying to get in the regular mutt because I'm now that my team's getting better I'm getting a little bit more jacked up for regular mutt so that's it other than that thanks for watching man money shit out need more help or just want to show your support then head over to my patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my bids and more link in the description below